Hey, it's Nicola uh, Grace here and Danette Lane from Lane Change Leadership in Ogonda Beach, Goa, which is south of Goa in India. We want to talk about Change Reactions, which is a project that we started while we were here uh, that actually has its seeds in Roger Hamilton's Exponential, on, um, Exponential Entrepreneurs in London. So Change Reactions all came about when we met two women who are selling pashminas on the street mm -hmm. in uh, in Punjab. Do you want to tell the story? Punjab, which is yeah, the capital of Goa. The capital of Goa. Yeah, the, the ladies came up and we were um, discussing our purchases and they started to ask if we had email addresses and that kind of surprised us, I think. And so we exchanged email addresses and we uh, they talked a little bit about um, their lives, just a little bit. And as we walked away and went to have lunch in a wonderful vegetarian restaurant, uh, we were talking about how, um, how I think we were just both moved. And for me, it triggered the idea that I had brought up in the Exponential Entrepreneur Weekend in, in London about offering mentoring to both women on a regular basis in terms of um, moving and changing lanes in their leadership, but also transformation through travel where they would go to another area and have their own transformational experience as well as make a positive impact on the culture, on the women in the culture um, at the place or the location of the travel. And so this is what happened at the lunch table. Yeah, and what really impressed me at the time was these women were really good saleswomen, yeah. and, but they weren't really using good sales techniques. They were using harassing sales techniques. And I was thinking, it would be really great if I could teach them really good sales tactics. You know, just simply they were saying, oh, what color do you want? If you like this color, buy this color, buy this color. And I was thinking, oh, who's going to, who's going to get which for my friends? Because I was looking at buying gifts. So just by teaching these women how to sell to Westerners, Pashminas, we could make a really positive impact. And it is my business model to mentor people into social enterprises that make a difference and change world um, solve world problems and then turn around and give back to those that couldn't necessarily afford the resources uh, have the resources to afford your business training and I scholarship them in so people in India and Africa and Latin America come to my programs uh, through a scholarship and get the same top level business education as the people in the Western world so these women just touched our hearts so much. We took photos and, and then at, uh, the process of being here on holiday in Goa, we're getting ready to go up uh, to speak at the Women's uh, for Economic Forum in Delhi in just a few minutes. Um, we started thinking about change reactions. If I can mentor somebody and I bring in my right mission, right money clients, because all of them want business models where they can help the, you know, the less resource. If we could do that, then we would set off a change reaction. If just one person mentored somebody in a less resourced country and they traveled and helped them, then that that would just set off this reaction. And then we ask the women themselves to set up a chain reaction by passing it on, passing it on to another woman. But then to, to walk down to the beach, we want to show you the beach. While we're walking down to the beach, one of the things that we thought would be a, a problem with that is one of the women, she pointed it out to us, she said, are you married? And, and she goes, I am, he no good. <laughs> and we went, that's a problem for a lot of women in these areas, is that you can empower them and you can help them, give them micro lines, have them set businesses up. And they go home and it can often lead to domestic violence, which is not something that we want to set up a no. chain reaction in. So it's always been my belief that if you empower women, you also need to empower men because most women's values are still to please a man or to have a happy, harmonious family situation in which their children can live. Because she said she can't leave him because she has a child. So economically, she needs him. So we've got to empower the men as well. So we've come up with a platform called Change Reactions. We want to do one for women. We want to do one for men. And this is a shout out to all you men. Do you want to keep walking behind me? Just, yeah. I don't know what you're doing. You turn the <laughs> I'm camera. Walking. Oh, did I? I'm yeah. walking towards the There you beach. go. Yeah, you turned the camera to the... We have been getting on very harmoniously up until this point because <laughs> we're a bit stressed out as we're going to get to the airport. So we're putting a shout out to you male coaches that want to 
use this model and empower men in less, less resource areas, help them with their personal development, with their confidence, with their, you know, the, raising them up out of poverty. And uh, do you want to get in? Here's a man. Prabhat, do you want to get into this? He's Prabhat, who's just been so beautiful from Pakistan. It's awesome. Hey, oh, come on. <laughs> You want to help with this idea as well and, and then have your clients then turn around and mentor okay. somebody in a less resource area. Um, we would like to hear from you. It would be really great if we get this going. It's the biggest reason why I do this is when I travel around the world, especially when I'm going to areas that are being called third world countries or developing nations, and I talk to people and I ask them what they want beyond their survival needs, they always start telling me what their dreams are. And if you look at the amazing innovation that's going on in the world today, it's nothing compared to the innovation we could have if the rest of the world were participating in and, and, and having their dreams come true. And we want to make that happen with change reactions. So we're just going to leave you with this beautiful shot of a gonda. This is the, can you see the bungalow from here? We should go down the beach. South Goa, so gorgeous. So relaxed, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to manage Delhi, but in this relaxed state, but it's just beautiful. I highly recommend you come to Jojalapa, South Goa in India. Such a lovely place. And then we have been staying at these huts that are right on the beach with the doors wide open, listening to the waves. And this is the birthplace of, there's two of them there, so romantic. This is the birthplace of change reactions. So what do you think? We'd love to hear if you want to participate, if you want to take part at all, if you want to support the platform. Uh, we've got the Facebook page, we've got the website, and then now it's time to, to build the actual format for it. So thanks Roger for allowing the space for this to happen because really it started at Exponential Entrepreneurs, right? Because this yep. was your idea that you presented to the group. Yep a little bit of the mentoring. And what I love about the name is we talked about making chain reactions, but it's really about making change, change reactions. reactions yeah. We want to be part of the collective mission to help create the world that we all want to live in. And so we want to help create change reactions that just have that ripple effect. Yeah, and we want to bring everybody with us. <laughs> Don't yeah. leave anybody behind. No. It's like 100% of humanity. <laughs> awesome. Mwah. See you Thank all later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.